so far we have prepped the boards, built a mold, poured the eco epoxy, and now we get to see the results. First, we need to separate the mold from the workpiece. Start by removing all the tape on the outside corners, and then remove all the screws. Even though we sprayed the mold with dry lubricant, it may still be difficult to pull apart. The best way to get started is to pull the small pieces off by hand, like the sides and the ends. You can use some helpers too, like a hammer and chisel if necessary. The bottom part of the mold was the hardest to remove. This is because there's so much surface area. We used a hammer and a chisel to break that bond. However, we ended up with a few small gouges on the back side of the workpiece. Instead, consider using a few shims as wedges. You can drive the shims between the workpiece and the mold. This will help break that bond. If you don't have any shims on hand, just make your own out of scrap wood. Now that the mold has been removed, we're left with a workpiece that has masking tape on both the top and the bottom surfaces, but also extra epoxy along the edges and the ends. First, remove all that masking tape from the top and the bottom. The tape that's along the live edge may be somewhat saturated with epoxy. That can make it more difficult to remove. If you have a problem with that, just use a putty knife to help pry it off and you can always sand the tape off later on. Now it's time to sand the epoxy flush and smooth with the workpiece. Begin by using a random orbit sander and 80 grit sandpaper. As you get closer to having it all flush, stop and check your progress. Our goal is to keep the top flat and smooth, but there may be high spots and low spots. To find these spots, check it at various locations across the top. Mark all the high spots with a pencil line. Then sand those pencil lines away. Continue this process as you sand. This will make sure everything stays flat. Don't be afraid to repeat this process as many times as you need until the entire top is perfectly flat. Here's another tip. Don't apply too much pressure to the sander. If you apply too much pressure, the sander will actually dig in on the edges. This will create little depressions in the top of your workpiece. So apply even pressure and let the sander do the work. Now that the top is flat, we can begin finish sanding, but we still don't want to create an uneven surface. To solve this problem, I just take a pencil and draw a wavy line across the entire surface. This gives me a reference point as to how much material I'm actually removing. We used 100 grit, then 120, 150, 180, 220, and even 320 through the finish sanding process and I drew those pencil lines in between every grit to ensure that it all stays flat. Repeat the same process on the back side of the table. Now it's time to clean up the edges and the ends of the workpiece. We ripped one edge off with the table saw. This removed all the excess epoxy from that edge. Flip the workpiece around and rip the opposing edge. Now we have two straight edges. Next, we'll cross cut the ends square. We used a miter gauge with a long auxiliary fence for extra support. Since the workpiece is wider than the capacity of the table saw, we used a shop made auxiliary infeed table. Now we have a tabletop that has a smooth surface and all the edges and ends are straight and square. We applied one coat of polyurethane 
to see the details of the wood grain and the ecopoxy come to life. You can apply your favorite finish over both the wood and the epoxy as it will dry the same on both surfaces. The fun part of these river tables is that you can use all kinds of different woods. If you can't find one with a live edge, you could even cut your own live edge with a jigsaw set at an angle. And of course, there's all kinds of colors, pigments, additives that you can add to the Ecopoxy to make it your own. And when it comes to a base, you can use your imagination there as well. It could be made out of wood, it could be made out of metal. It's your choice, that's part of the fun. Thanks for watching our version of how to make a river table.